Happy, Happy holidays. holidays! Don't go away, because when we come back, we're going to show you how to make Santa balls at Chocolate Hot Rod. Woo! Woo! Happy, Happy holidays. holidays! Guess what? We are at the home of Cindy Burns, the producer and performer from the Funniest Housewives of Orange County. We all know she is an uh, anti-aging housewife. And to my left today, we have invited fellow... Woo! Housewife, I'm already getting excited. She is the hottest housewife in Orange yeah. County, and I heard you host your own TV show called This Tastes Funny. Yes, I do. Woo! So I heard we got some hostess gifts. Cindy, let us know, what are we going to make? Well, what we have, Scott, is Vicki has um, presented us with three gift ideas that we're going to talk about today. We're going to do the holiday balls, which are Santa balls and Hanukkah balls. And she's going to show us how to make those. And then we have pretzel rods. And they're dipped in white chocolate. And they're dipped in milk chocolate for a healthier anti-aging. You can do a dark chocolate on a whole wheat pretzel. I know. And then we're going to tell you a little bit more about this beautiful um, gingerbread house later. These are my Santa balls. And what you do is a lot of people will make these using the cake ball recipe, which is a big nightmare, okay? Bottom line, not worth the trouble. So I just use the Hostess Ho-Ho balls or any little, you know, what do they call donut holes in any bakery. Stick them in a popsicle stick. Put a little Santa face, whatever you want. My, my grandkids just love to make these with me. And then the uh, cotton candy, if you have it, a little marshmallow on top. These are fruit roll-ups in here, making the yarmulke or the Santa hat. Okay, oh isn't it adorable? Uh, oh, this is which incredible. Which of your friends here in Orange County would, would just love to see you coming? I would suggest doing like double balls. Like you can do a, a Hanukkah ball. A <laughs> couple of balls. A couple of balls and a, and, a, and, a, and, a, and a Santa ball and a rod. A couple of ba balls and a rod. Who isn't going to love to see you coming to their party? How much would... I, I think I got about $3 into that. Okay. I, wow. I'd love to... Uh, to show you how to make a rod. These are chocolate hot rods. And they are hot. This is a great gift because, I mean, these are like $5 at the stores in the mall. And, and they make a really great gift. And men love these especially. Because, you know, it's always about kids for Christmas. But I like to think, what does a man want to get, huh? And that's what I mean. Sometimes you have male teacher, male friends. When they don't want a box of cookies. And this so is so simple. So how do we simple. do it? Can I, I want to try and learn. I'm going to show gonna you. Learn. I'm gonna Sorry. Over here, because these are the rods. I'm going to take... Okay, so we got the rod. All we've done is we've taken either chocolate or milk white chocolate chocolate chips. And I like the Ghirardelli. They seem to melt better. Let okay. me hold this for you. All right. Now, what you do, now if you had a ton of it, you could dip it inside, but we, we don't. So I just use a spoon and I, I cover the rod, more than half of the rod, with your chocolate, either white chocolate or dark chocolate. Okay. Okay. Do you have a preference of light or dark? No, you know what? I've been with... I've used both, and I like I like them all. I'm not, and I don't think that, that, that the size of the rod matters either. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna have you do this, and this okay, is the fun okay. part. You dip, Woo, I'm you getting around. Roll, I am so excited. roll Woo. your rod. Roll, I'm roll that, roll you know that hot you rod. Know I love sprinkles. I thought you might. So you just simply just roll. Roll it gently. If you like gently, a light, you can have a lot. A lot or a little, whatever you like, wow. and then you lay it on wax paper. Oh, you can't just eat it right now. No. Oh. Well, you could. I'm excited. And let that dry. Woo. And oh. there's one that's ready to go look we just that. made. Bam! Every year I make this, and the kids look so forward to it. You know, because you always have a few extra wine boxes around. And after you make a certain amount of shelving, what are you going to do? So this is what we do. We take the, the wine box. We, we just paint on... Um, Powdered sugar, butter, and, and Well, is there milk? graham crackers? On? Cindy, exactly. First you paint the wine box, then you lay the graham crackers graham in. Crackers. i got to say, Cindy is the first person to actually come up with the graham cracker coating, which has been so successful. Oh. Then we, then, now, that locks into place. I mean, place. who has time to bake right. gingerbread? Who? No, no. God. You would roll that forever. So then the, these are the graham cracker roof. This is covered in white macadamia, chocolate, whatever you have. And then just any candy you can find. I got this awesome tree at the dollar store. Hello. And then I covered this with marshmallows. Unfortunately, I was uh, pouring out a little last night and spilled some. But it, we, you know we got kind of looks like Santa fell off. The I am loving this so because I have seen the gingerbread houses, but you know what? This one actually—Are you kidding me? It's functional. You're at a party right now. You're at a party right now. Look at that. You are going to pour out. Who who is not going to have a great time at this party? You got to kick things up. That's why. That's why the gingerbread wine box is just a huge hit every time. 
you know, I, I oh can't emphasize enough how much fun you'll have I with these. I think it would be cute to use red licorice hanging yes. off the, that, like a red tile roof. The possibilities you can are have so much fun. On this. Get the kids on mm -hmm. this. That's what I do. They look forward to it every year. Right. Get them on the outside, but we don't need them touching no, the no, Let's no. save the inside for the parents. I don't even actually disengage this until they're completely done. You know, oh, you got to be careful. Oh, wait, I forgot. This is a real cotton candy. <laughs> it's a cotton ball. There was no circus in town. That's the one thing. I mean, it's really hard to find cotton candy all Sure, the we time. don't give those to anybody. Uh, we should just toss these. Yeah. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey!